I'm Liz Bernier with HRPA, and this is HR Today. Uh, today we have Neil Pasricha. He's here to talk to us about happiness at work. So thanks for joining us, Neil. No, my pleasure. Thanks for having me here. So your keynote last evening was about being happier at work. Can you tell us a little bit more about yeah. the importance? Absolutely. You know, um, basically, you know, my parents were immigrants. A lot of people here are immigrant parents. And immigrant parents have this mantra, okay? I grew up under this mantra. It is, um, you do great work, then you have a big success, and then you be happy. <laughs> Does this sound familiar? Study hard, <laughs> ideally get straight A's, and go be a doctor or a lawyer. I didn't do either of those, but that's what they told me. Or, or work really hard, get promoted, and then you're happy after. I, 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 you know, I, I'm guilty also of thinking about this when I talk to my kids. We hear this all the time. Unfortunately, it's totally backwards. Instead, you must be happy first. Okay. And then you do the great work. Productivity rises 31%, sales increase 37%, creativity triples, and then the big success follows. You live longer, you're more likely to be promoted, so career and life success goes up. So the biggest message I was trying to share last night is, happiness must move from the end of the equation to the beginning. It must be something we believe in and invest in to create a positive mindset so we can have better outcomes at work. Okay, so obviously happiness is pretty individual, but how can HR help their employees be happier by yeah. creating that environment? Sure, fantastic. Well, according to research by Sonia Lebomirsky down at Stanford, 50% of our happiness is genetic, okay? okay? We have a genetic set point. If you have two kids, you know what I'm talking about. One's kind of higher than the other one. 10% um, of our happiness is based on circumstances, according to this model. And the remaining 40% are based on our intentional activities. Here's where HR can come in. What is the suite of intentional activities we can s foster and promote at work? I'm talking about things like gratitude practices, journaling, meditation, random acts of kindness, um, all these little things that sound maybe trite at first, because you know we support going to the gym at lunch, mm -hmm. but do we support people taking breaks from meditation? Is there a place to meditate at your workplace? Mm -hmm. you know, do we support journaling practice? Do, does the CEO get on stage and talk about committing conscious acts of kindness at work? Mm -hmm. We know these things increase our happiness. How do we shift the needle and, and create mental wellness where we have investments in things like physical wellness? Okay, great. So you are the author of The Book of Awesome and another book more recently. Do you want to tell us a bit yeah. about that? Sure, that book is called The Happiness Equation. It is subtitled Want Nothing Plus Do Anything Equals Have Everything. It contains the nine secrets to happiness. Basically what happened is um, my wife told me she was pregnant on the flight home from our honeymoon. I mean, she actually bought the pregnancy test on the layover in oh. Malaysia. She did the pregnancy test on the airplane. Oh. And she came back to our seat, she's like, um, I'm pregnant, okay. but I just want our kids to be happy, like yeah. every parent says to their kids. And I said, that's not possible. Like, you can't make a kid happy. You can't make yourself happy even. You can't control mm -hmm. happiness. And that's what prompted me to go deep into the research, everything I could read about positive psychology, conducting research, conducting experiments, interviewing people, and putting together a love letter to my unborn child oh. on how to live a happy life. That letter is the happiness equation. It contains nine secrets on how to live a happy life. I shared three of them in the keynote here. Oh, okay. Well, a lot to think about and a lot to read about. So thank you so much for taking the time to, to talk to us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Liz. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm Liz Bernier. This is HR Today. Thanks for watching.